Okay, we just finished watching a documentary that the Australian Broadcasting Company had, had uh, prepared here on Horn Island, and they had uh, reunions of those that uh, served and survived. And this this is the museum with an incredible amount of information. Vanessa collected all of this. It's phenomenal. More information than you can imagine. Here are some of the pilots, the Japanese pilots that were involved in, and this one in particular, the Ace of Aces for the Japanese in Dad's dogfight in March of 1942. see she has gone to an incredible amount of work here presenting both sides and I think we probably recognize this gentleman right here the seventh squadron of the 49th fighter group And this is the painting of the tenant house saving dad's life. Here are those that served with dad here at that time. obviously the P-38, which they were not flying at that time. They were flying P-40s, as you can see the P-40 here. The P-40 was not an equal to the Zeros, but when the P-38 was introduced into the Pacific and European theater, it was a game changer. You could spend days here. There's the zero. This not only covers the history of the war, but also the history of the island. Very proud per people. There are crocodiles up to 20 feet long here in salt water. And these spears, you do not go snorkeling or anything without a spear because of the sharks and the crocodiles. Turtles. There's huge turtles here. Mom and I, or Kelly and I saw two of them just on our ferry ride over to Thursday Island yesterday. They just come up for air long enough. It's hard to catch, capture a picture of them. But you can see Pearl diving, one of the largest productions of pearls in the world. Actually, Liberty's father was a pearl diver, and I believe his grandfather. And the shells, the pearls.
dad actually and his fighter group were only on Horn Island for a matter of a few weeks. And after the confrontation with the Japanese, which was actually one of the first, if not the first, in the Pacific, dad and his fighter group were sent back to Darwin the following day after that, the following day of the dogfight. Then on to New Guinea, from what I can gather. Look at all these newspaper articles. Many of these types of articles are in mom and dad's scrapbook that Bob has. Dad's mentioned in a number of these articles that, that mom has. People throughout the United States would see the reference about my dad, our dad in an article. And they would simply put it in the mail and mail it to Mrs. Robert Morrissey of Tecumseh, Nebraska. Because the article would say Robert Morrissey, Tecumseh, Nebraska. And that's how she accumulated so many of those. They didn't know. I'm not sure if they even knew if, she, if Dad was married in many instances. But that's how people were back in the 40s. We've got articles, I believe, from the Chicago Tribune, from the New Orleans newspaper, all over the United States different events and dad's history and serving during the war. You can see here Colonel House says I was 20 years old when we were sent to Horn Island. We were just the advanced echelon so we had no mechanics or engineers the Aussies were fantastic I don't know how they put up with it at Horn Island so hot mosquitoes he said went on to say we went after them the Japanese but I found I had no defense left so I went to ram the plane the wing went through the canopy and blew it up there were pieces of fire falling everywhere my plane started falling and flapping over the oxygen mask had me blinded for a while, but I found I could still fly. So I landed at Horn Island. It took about three tries. I found out that Johnson was wounded in the ankles, Chapman was wounded in the neck, and that Sanford was lost somewhere, which ultimately they found him later. He had landed, uh, crashed in, in the ocean, and some uh, natives carried him 20, or helped him 25 miles to safety. He goes on to say, I love to fly, but I hated the killing. I was doing the job they told me to do. He says, I still have nightmares sometimes. I flew over 400 missions in the Pacific, India, Burma, China, Italy, Paris, and Panama. I never really paid attention to the promotions. I just enjoyed the flying. That's his service history. Here's the story about Sanford. And here he is. <laughs> 